Hello, everyone. Hello, hello, Taisha. How everyone? It's Young Lee, everyone. <laughs> so, let's continue playing Hakioki Kyoto Winds now, huh? So, I went back and I looked, and I found out what the warrior record was, and apparently, it shows us how far we are in people's relationships. So, that's pretty cool. And we've unlocked a couple of things in our gallery and encyclopedia. And we can actually go back and find out uh, the ones that we missed. So the doctor, uh, Ryojun Matsumoto, a respected doctor working for the Tokugawa Shogunite. So we have that guy. And then we have Harada, the redhead that we <laughs> weren't able to look at that I wanted to look at so badly. Uh, Senosuke Harada, uh, captain of the Shinsengumi's 10th division. He's a native of Edo. He is very skilled with a spear, which is his weapon of choice. There is a scar on his stomach from an attempted suicide. So, and I believe there was someone else that we missed. It was Glasses Dude, I believe. Uh, this guy, yeah. Uh, Kisuke Sanan. The colonel of the Shinsengumi. He is a native of Edo. He acts primarily as a consultant to the chief of the Shinsengumi, uh, Izami, yeah, Izami Kondo. So, and I also found out he's not the one that um, mentioned uh, the left-handed stuff. It was uh, originally Saito. So, so let's head back into this, shall we? And I actually found out that the save data was not saved, so I had to go back yesterday and go through everything again. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Get ready, everyone. <laughs> March 18, 64. It fast approached a month since I began living within the Shinsengumi headquarters. He took I cheat. I forgot. I'm calling him Toshi because I looked back and I was pronouncing his name wrong that whole entire time. <laughs> Toshi and Sanan finally returned to the compound from their trip in Osaka, but spirits were low. Sanan's injury had, for, had unforeseen consequences for everyone in the organization. Day-to-day -day operations became hectic for a little while. His wounds seemed quite dire, and they drained whatever goodness in his nature he'd hoped to keep. Sanan would spend days holed up in his room, protected by a barrier of impenetrable silence. If he were to leave his room, a rare occasion now, he would often short-tempered. Wait, oh, he was often short-tempered and quickly retreated. Understandable. I mean, the guy got wounded to the point where he can't hold his sword anymore. So, even though I too spent days in the exile of my room, he seemed to take it much differently. Sanan seemed trapped within a painful memory each day, bringing him closer to a gloomy twilight. I softly pondered what service I could offer to the Shinsengumi if I were not allowed to search for my father. Like laundry and cleaning. <laughs> I'm sure Toshi is overwhelmed with whatever business he's dealing with, but I need to visit him. Yeah, we need to find out if he's going to let us travel with Saito and go about on rounds so we can find our father or at least information about our father. I realize with the tension so high, that it's better to have Toshi on my side rather than not. Time to see the man himself. I crept around the hall, looking for Toshi, but he was nowhere to be seen. Would it be impolite to visit his room directly? As I paced around the hall in contemplation, an unknown warrior appeared before me. Who is it? Oh, oh hello, handsome. How you doing? Who are you? <laughs> I've been living in the Yaga... Yaga? Yagi? Yagi. Whatever. Residence for a month. But he was unfamiliar to me. Who are you? My current dilemma compelled me to approach him. Um, excuse me. Have you seen... Have you seen Toshi? <gasps> Ooh. That's an air of arrogance. I don't know if I'm going to like him anymore. <laughs> the man turned to respond, and my eyes widened to scan his enormous frame before he spoke. Why 
that is a deeper voice than I thought he was going to have. Interesting. Oh, I am... Well, it's a long story. Damn, I don't like him. I like how he looks, but I do not like him anymore. I I'm Lee Yukimura. Yes, I am. Even though I stay hid in my room. Y yes. I wasn't aware they were telling people that I was an apprentice warrior at headquarters. However, my reputation was the last thing on my mind as I faced this man's pre pressuring, pressuring gaze. I apologize. I only woke up like an hour ago. <laughs> And <laughs> got out of bed about 30 minutes ago. <laughs> I got in all the sleep I could get. I didn't appreciate the harsh scrutiny the scrutiny he seemed to impose, scanning me from head to toe. What kind of... What kind of tricks I have? I don't have any tricks. Honestly, they brought me in. I didn't want to come here. <laughs> I did no such thing. Wow, I do not like him. <laughs> Jerk. You're pretty, but I do not like your snotty little frickin' attitude. Dot dot dot. <laughs> Bitch. Really don't like him. Kan Ryu san. Kida, captain of the Shinsengumi's 5th Division. He has extensive knowledge on Koshi military science, which led to his promotion to war magistrate. He aims to be Kodo, uh, Kondo's close aide. Oh, so you're asking me that because you're the one with those intentions. I see. I see. You're not hiding anything from me. <laughs> he grew increasingly agitated, almost like a pen petulant petulant child because I refuse to answer him. Yeah. You're pretty dude, but nah, uh-uh. Nah. He reached his massive hand over towards me as if to grab me, but then a voice stopped him. Oi, Takeda! Konna tokoro de nani wo shiteiru? Takeda. Takeda. I need to remember. I need to hear when the, whenever the voice actors say each other's names, I need to remember <laughs> what they say. <laughs> okay. Yeah, beat him out. <laughs> when he recognized Toshi's voice, he snapped his hand back to his side. Yeah, that's right. Don't touch me. Dang, he's tall compared to Toshi. Toshi, are you going to take that? Yeah, that's right. I doubt that. I doubt that. Oh, I was so I thought you were so curious about knowing why I'm here. Huh? Hmm? 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 Okay, no, it's not. It didn't suddenly start going live. It says that there's 11:48 seconds on the thingy. So, hopefully, hopefully, I'm hoping. I'm hoping it didn't act up. Okay, I gotta. Oh. I found out. I also got a message. I'll reply later, though. Uh, let me. Yeah, it's not your business. Yeah. Yeah, fuck off. 
あまり同じ距離のものばかりを周りに囲うのはいかがなものかと思いますえ、excuse me? <笑>では、失礼 Strike Go away Jeez, um, such a jerk He, he's like one of those uh, mean girls or something where it's just like push, push, pressure, pressure. And then when like somebody of higher authority comes in, they're like, oh, never mind. And it's like, <sighs> I really do not like those kind. Once, uh, frick, they said his name and I forgot it. Uh, Takita? Once Takita exited the hall, I couldn't help but feel a rush of relief. Oi, Yukimura. I was looking for you. Y yes, sir. I didn't mean to cause trouble. Yagi Residence, the location of the first headquarters for the Shinsengumi. Ooh. Maikawa? Maikawa? Meikawa? Eh. It was located right beside the Yagi... Yagi? Ah, oh, my goodness. Residence, and it was the first ever headquarters used by the Shinsengumi. Ah, so they were technically the first ones. I see, I see. Clear. I promise to be more careful going forward, so I'm... So may I ask, who was that man? Takeda. 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 Gotta remember. I gotta remember these names. After going through multiple different language learning thingies, I'm like mixing up the different <laughs> the different types. Because it could be anyway. <laughs> okay. Give me a moment. Sorry, I had a cough there. Oh. I, there we go. Toshi attempted to dismiss me, having said what he felt was appropriate as a stern commander. I ask him if I can help around the compound quite... No! No, I wanna, I wanna help around. I need to... I need to live up to my solitude, man. Like, I need to do something. I didn't get many chances to see Toshi, so I took the opportunity to offer my aid to the house. Um, I actually have a favor to ask of you, Toshi. Staying in my room for long periods alone makes me feel terribly useless. Would you please give me something to do? I I'll do anything, cleaning, laundry, any- <laughs> I mentioned those earlier. Though she sensed the sincerity of my plea, and it appeared as though he actually considered it. Yeah, when- If you're doing nothing in one spot, it's uh... You feel like you're a piece of dirt. <laughs> so doing something is very, very, uh... Pleasing, I wanna say. Well, um... A little. What about going out for rounds? Are we gonna mention that? Or is Saito and Okito gonna mention that to you? I wanna know. I am- I wanna know. <laughs> I wanna know, please! Really? That's fine, I guess. I guess that's fine. I need to check something real quick. Okay. Ah! I'm a little worried. I feel like I messed something up, so I'm like double checking everything. <laughs> Understood. But thank you so much. The next day, Inoue informed me that I was given more freedom within the headquarters, which allowed me to exit my room freely. Heck yeah! My duties included cleaning, laundry, and cooking. Not the most glamorous of chores, of course. However, it gave me an opportunity to opportunity to occupy myself as opposed to going stir crazy in my room heck yeah Ugh. june 
1864. Let's go. Wait, so it was... Dang, that was a short march. June, 1864. The fourth year of the... Bunkyu era became the Ganji Gannen, and the summer sweetly blossomed. Give me a moment. It's okay, everyone. <laughs> the fourth year of the Bunkyu era became the Ganji Ganon. I totally butchered those. And the summer sweetly blossomed. Oh, and I'm not on the game. There we go. I'm on the game. Spring shed its blooming skin, giving birth to lush green trees facing the wide open sky. During one of these beautiful summer days, I finished cleaning after everyone ate breakfast, and Saito brought me to the hall to Toshi. Yes, Saito, yes, thank you! <laughs> oh, he's so cute and handsome. Oh, I think I over... I think I spoke over his coming, I apologize. Saito responded by quietly opening the, opening the sliding doors, gesturing me to enter the room. Upon entering, I saw Toshi, but also Okita, Nagakura, Harada, and uh, I think that one's Toto, Toto, in the hall. It appeared that only the captains, who were aware of my situation, were present. <gasps> Yay! We finally get to go out! <gasps> Hopefully with Okita and Saito. Hopefully with Okita and Saito. Really? I could barely contain the excitement in my voice as soon as the words came out of his mouth. So, is it true there was a man in Fushima that matched my father's profile? Fushima, castle town in the southern part of Kyoto. Aww. You know it. I nodded in response. For now, any information pertaining to my father's uh, father was appreciated, so I was thankful. So, where is this man who supposedly looks like my father? <gasps> yes, we get to go with Saito. <laughs> Terada Inn, an inn located in Fushima. It is often frequented by warriors of the Satsuma and Tosa. To Tosa? Domains. Yes, Saito gets to come with us. Saito is assigned? I wasn't sure if that meant I was to accompany Saito or if I would have to wait longer for him. Nah, if, if he knows that we wanted to go out with rounds with him, I think he'd be like wanting us to come along with him. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> then Harada chimed in. Uh -oh. mm, true. No, oh. <sighs> Even though I wanted to go with Saito, I'll go with these guys. Besides, Toto's pretty cute. I like him. And Harada's kind of cute, too. Not this time, boy. So she didn't bother entertaining a response. Instead, looking towards me. Was he suggesting... These were the men who were responsible for dealing with me. Should I attempt to flee? Oh, these are the men responsible for me if I attempt to flee. Sorry. Toto must have sensed this as well, so he made no attempt to push in the issue any further. 
言いたいことは分かりましたけどこの子の思いを僕たちに任せっぱなしってのは気に入らないな You're one of the ones that want Fine, I see how it is I see how it is I got a message I see how it is I see how it is I got a message 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 Oh, interesting, interesting. What are you saying? You said that you were going to be a little bit of 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 a little bit そうの仕事をさせた方がいいんじゃないですか As Okita and Toshi bickered at one another, the mood of the room was locked in their tense words until Harada whispered to me, Ooh, hey there, little mama, let me whisper in your ear, come on. Now,今日は物騒だし、無理に出かける必要はねえと思うぜ。俺たちも一応、Um, I could look for my father in Fushimi. Fushimi? Yeah, Fush Fushimi. Oh, I do not trust myself with these words right now. Or join the patrol rounds as soon as he's moved places. Or stay here to keep safe from the outside. Or accompany Toshi as his page. Oh, dang. Stay. Nah. Uh, I I want to go with Saito, honestly. I want to go to Fushimi, though I was told to go on the rounds. Um, that's more of Okita being like, hey, yo, do that. And then stay behind just seems stupid. Um, Yeah, I think I, I think I want to do that because if we have any chance to find out where our father is, and besides, they mentioned, uh, Toshi mentioned that we're the only ones to really know if it's actually our father or not. So we should, like, that's the first main objective. So we should do that. My father might be at Fushimi. I want to find out. Even if he had already left Fushimi, there was a chance I could find a lead to this. To his next location. I had already made up my mind. Yes. Saito. <laughs> I will go to Terada Inn. <clears throat> oh my goodness. <laughs> I will go to Terada Inn. Saito, would you mind if I come along with you? Yay. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> wow. I couldn't believe I might see far father. My head pounded heavily in my or my heart. Oh my goodness. Oh, uh, this is what happens after having like two days worth of a headache. <laughs> my heart pounded heavily in my chest, and I did my best to keep my composure and bow. Frick! Don't mind me as I bow once again. Oh, my cursor's in in the little corner. The air was slightly humid. A thin dampness permeated despite no signs of rain. I feel great, especially if you're here with me this close. <laughs> I wonder why he's not wearing his blue robes while he's outside. Because I noticed that they were wearing the blue robes outside, but they didn't wear it at the headquarters. So I'm, I'm curious about that. It wasn't even longer while since I've worn straw sandals, so blisters formed around my straps. I'm fine. I was eager to see if my father was nearby, so I ignored any minor distractions or ob obstacles. Soka, yeah. It seems Saito could read through my words, and he pretended to ignore my discomfort. Aw, baby. We were heading to Fushimi, which is south of Kyoto. Toshi mentioned my father was staying at the Tarada Inn, but how do we know? How do we even know if it's legit? <laughs> Mm, true, it does, but it could be um, Matsumoto. 
because he's also bald and a doctor, I believe. A bald doctor? I grew restless with anticipation from Saito's words, and my heart couldn't contain itself. Could this person really be my father? How many bald men practice his field of study? Ah, he's so he's so thoughtful. Okay. I had to make sure Saito doesn't see me as a burden, so I tucked my strap, tucked my strap, and hurried with him. Shortly after, we reached the Jirata Inn located in Fushimi. Is my father really here? The inn itself looked well kept from the outside, and Fushimi stirred in the background. I clenched my throat nervously as I approached the door, but I waited for Saito to instruct me. Jesus. <clears throat> Wait, we're going through the tea shop? Why didn't we go in immediately to snoop around? Probably because if we did, then other people would know that we're there because we're looking for the guy, so... I had so many questions, both for him and father. However, Saito seemed very calculated, scanning the area since we arrived, so I felt best to trust in his in to the judgment i was about to say instinct <laughs> we entered the sh tea shop around the other side and saito began scooping scoping oh my goodness i cannot speak today oh my goodness <laughs> we entered the tea shop around the other side and saito began scoping the tarada in yeah always go to the other side so you can look around see what's going on though the fact that there's a whole bunch of doors and all this stuff doesn't give much help. <laughs> Saito led me to a seat near the shop's balcony, and he whispered discreetly into my ear. Ah, yep, mine. I thought that might be it. Yep, always gotta be cautious. From the west? From what I knew, the Choshu domain was connected to Imperial Ronin from the west as well. Chosu domain, a domain governed by Takachika Mori. Mori? Yeah. <laughs> An opposition, uh. Oh my goodness. My brain is like fried. <laughs> Daimyo? Most members of this domain were nationalist, nationalist imperialists. That's is two ists in the same sentence. During the early part of the Bakamatsu period, what does that mean for my father to be here? Also, let me know if uh, his voice is a little too soft for you guys. I turned down the volume on my headset because it is a little loud for me and his voice seems soft to me so I want to make sure it's okay for you guys as well. Oh no, surely it's a coincidence. Saito looked at me but didn't respond. The possibility of my father conducting business in Fushimi now pointed to an implicit relationship between him and the imperialists. But. That couldn't be the case. My father explicitly told me he was visiting Kyoto under direct orders from the Shogunite. Surely there was a reason for the confusion, but what kind of reason would he have being here? That's... I apologize. That's totally fine with me. If it means I don't accidentally get caught up in some things, that, that that's fine. Huh? You want me to watch the inn? Saito wasn't my babysitter, but I'd appreciate some backup if something went wrong. <clears throat> Does Saito trust me enough for him to take his eyes off me? I didn't want to mess things up. Saito, ever the keen eye, spoke to comfort me. 
顔を覚えられていたらしいここで張り込みをするには差し障りがある。ああ、ベイビー。He's so thoughtful. Oh, I love him so much. <laughs> no one is equal in my eyes to him. Oh. アンズルナ。俺も近くで情報集めを行うつもりだ。何かあればすぐに駆けつけて。<laughs> yes, thank you. <laughs> All right. But I'm holding you on that. <laughs> Yay, but also sad because he's leaving. <laughs> Saito stood quickly and disappeared into the crowd, leaving me in my seat at the tea shop. I had to play the part, so I gathered my bearings in my new surroundings and approached the, a customer visiting the shop for questions. <laughs> Time for talking montage and questions. For a second, I had to remember I was there for a mission, but it felt like I was a spy in a play. I gathered some intel from customers confirming sightings of a bald doctor of Western medicine who frequented the Tarada Inn until a few days ago. That was a long sentence. Whew. Unfortunately, the leads ran dry for anything during the past two or three days. Dang. He might have left. Huh. Looks like we may have just missed him. I braced myself for the possibility that the lead was false, but even still, it was discouraging to come up with nothing. This was no time to be upset, though. Maybe he would return to the inn after finishing whatever business it was that took him away. Longing for a loved one to return is like waiting for a wound to heal. <clears throat> Ouch. Where the memory of the time before the pain seeps into every moment after. Ouch. That, uh... Ouch. With the approval of the tea shop's owner, I watched the happenings of the Jurata Inn from the shop's balcony. Just then, a mysterious visitor approached me. Ooh. Oh no, why do I feel like it's a bad dude? He knows who I am. Crap. Huh? He caught me off guard. Had he been watching me? I turned around, nearly clutching my Kodachi. Oh. Oh. Oh? Oh? Who? Oh! Oh! <laughs> Mature look a man right here! He took a seat near me, staring at my hand as if to assure me of- uh, Oh my goodness. Staring at my hand as if to assure me- Oh my goodness, I cannot speak, I'm so sorry. <laughs> he took a seat near me, staring at my hand as if to assure me from my harm. I think I said that right. <laughs> Who was this man? He didn't look like anyone I'd ever seen before. I am indeed, sir, sir, pretty handsome boy. Though, if you look in the corner, that like little flower symbol, I think I recognize it. Not 100% sure. <gasps> oh, I just realized his, um, his clothes are a little revealing. <laughs> oh, uh, no. I shook my head, unsure if he could be trusted. Wow, that took me a moment to register in my brain. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> you see, well, I'm looking for my father. Oh, it... Yeah, it is kind of a predicament. I don't know about that. I don't think I want to tell you his name. I'm not sure. I contemplated whether or not this man would have known my father, or even the possibility that telling this man anything would jeopardize me. However, any information he could have may help, or he could be a bad dude. We don't know. He could be putting on like the sweet charms or something and be like flaunting and being like, hey, I can help you. But it turns out he's actually a bad dude. I don't know, man. My father visited Kyoto on a business trip, but he suddenly ceased communication with me. Rumors surfaced that someone with his likeness came to this inn, and I had to see for myself. 
Oh, he is a bad dude. He knows. He knows. He knows. <laughs> yes, I came from Edo. Yeah, he's definitely playing on the sweet charms. Yeah, he... He knows. Yes! I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't trust him. Uh-huh. Well, I... Mm, how should I respond? I don't know. I mean, we need to think about this. How did he know that we were from the East when we only mentioned that we came to Kyoto to look for our father? Like, how would he know that? That seems very, very suspicious to me. Even though I would like some help, I... I don't think it'd be a good idea. I really don't. Oh, his hair's a different color. Or, unless that was how the scene was. Oh, uh... No, thank you. Please, don't take any offense, but I only just met you, and it would be rude to ask you for help. Even though you are handsome, I do not trust you one bit. <laughs> he furrowed his brows deeply, or he furrowed his brow deeply, pausing to think before speaking again. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, it it is, but I don't with the things with our father, you could be someone who's also looking for him in a bad way. So, no. <laughs> well, yes, it's true I'm not from here, but it's like trying to catch smoke. My father being here might just be a rumor after all. I couldn't bear to trouble you with something that may just be an un huge words, oh my goodness. Unsubstan to oh. I don't know what that word is, and it's too long for me. A rumor. I'll just say a rumor. <laughs> Dang. Uh, hopefully he doesn't pressure and hopefully actually I really I really hope that after we leave, he doesn't like suddenly pop up from a corner and start following us. Uh, that'd be a uh, no thank you. <laughs> he smirked kindly and nodded in agreement. No! I don't know this man. Excuse me. She? How did you know? Oh my goodness. I really don't trust this man, and I just gave him a point. <laughs> no! <laughs> uh, uh huh? Do you just look for people to help often? <sighs> I don't know. I don't know, man. I really. <laughs> I don't know if he's pulling an act or if he's genuinely like this. I'm not trusting it. Ah, I see. Well, thank you anyway. I thought I was firm in how I rejected his offer, but he just kept pressing the issue. Mm, yeah, he really wants to know. Mm -mm, nope, nope, nope. I repeatedly refused his help, but for whatever reason, he would insist on being a gentleman. In the end, it would seem he didn't actually respect my position or my agency. Oh no, I don't like those kind. No, thank you. Well, thank you for trying to help me, m Mr. Saitani. 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 Umetaro Saitami. Saitani. Yeah. <laughs> A person who encounters the protagonist at the Tarada Inn while she's- while she- oh my god. While she- oh my god. I feel like I'm saying that wrong. Uh, searches for her father. My goodness. His face remained calm behind a- a wry smile? I've, I've heard that word before, but I 
It's been a while, I don't remember. <laughs> ah, uh, Saitani. My name is Yuki- Oh, why'd you tell him your name? No! He's gonna know! You, you dumbo, no! Oh my goodness. <sighs> my name is Yuki Mura. It's very nice to meet you. Uh, he knows. He so knows. Unless he's trying to be a flatterer, he knows. Jesus. Jesus. Why'd you tell him your name? You. Arr! You are infuriating me, MC. Y you think my name matches my figure? It's not kawaii at all. <laughs> well, cute is kind of a stretch. If I told him my name was Lee Yukimura, he might suspect me to be a woman. He already called you she! He, he already knows. Like, at this point, why don't you just spill out your guts to this man? Tell him everything. Like, yeah. Why give me an option? And then promptly go against my option. Ah. <laughs> uh. See, the logic behind that just disappeared right after. After he said those words, I gasped and covered my mouth with my hands. W wait a minute. Saitani, I'm not a woman. He knows! He already knows! Why hide it? He knows! What? What's the point anymore? Come on! Uh, he, he, he's a playboy. He's a, a flirter. So, he knows. He, he, he can tell a girl from a mile away. <laughs> I, I would never take you for a fool. <sighs> thanks. <laughs> Two thanks. <laughs> the nonchalantness of his response made me practically faint from relief. Jeez, he he has to know if he's this like persistent on finding out what our whole name is he has to know i mean he's probably like okay i know this uh i know the father uh dr yukimura so and i know he has a daughter and his daughter's name is lee yukimura if i find out this this girl's name is lee yukimura i know that it's her but you know other people could have the same yukimura last name so he's like trying to make sure that it's me Come on, I, I'm very much not trusting of this man. <sighs> Considering he's already figured out I'm a woman, I saw no... <sighs> Girl, I saw no harm in being honest with him about my name. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. I can see Saito off in the distance looking over and being like, face palm, that idiot. Oh my goodness. <sighs> my name is Lee Yukimura. Nah, he's just happy that he found out that it's us now. Y you think so? Bro, bro. People all around me have been calling me a kid. And I'm apparently looking close to the same age as Toto, who looks like he's freaking 16. And you, a grown man who looks like he's probably 26, is asking me this? Bruh. <laughs> Come on. Uh. Um. Saitani? We're not talking about me right now. I thought you were going to help me look for my father. <laughs> I 
do not trust. I do not trust. Saitani's ten talent appeared to be in engaging seamlessly endless conversations. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Since he was the first person outside of the Shinsengumi with whom I'd spoken, I'd completely lost track of time. Oh my goodness, no. Uh, Saito's probably like, what is she doing? What is she doing? I'd be like that. I'd be like, what is she doing? What is she doing? Come on. Uh, luckily, Saito appeared to rescue me. Thank goodness. Saito was probably like, I am tired of this. I am grabbing you and leaving. Jeez, um, thank you, Saito. You're a true man. Oh, hi, Saito. Okay. Okay. So. <laughs> so, yeah, this guy definitely knows something. If he knew that Saito was with us beforehand and has come back, that means that he most likely was watching us the whole entire freaking time. I do not trust that. I do not trust that one bit. And he asked us if we needed help to find our father. And he did absolutely nothing except for talk to us and find out what our name is and probably a whole bunch of other things. Um, yeah, uh, no, he knows. He's very suspicious. I do not like this man. Mm -mm, no, mm -mm, no, no, mm -mm. I, I, all of this, as I wave to my monitor, all of this, a big no. That's a big no from me. Saitani stood up from his seat slowly, appearing dejected, as if I'd broken his heart. Oh, oh my goodness. I do not trust. I, he knows. He has to know. Oh, maybe. No. Mm -mm. I bet Saito's probably like giving the death glare, being like... <laughs> Before I could tell him goodbye, Saitani had wandered off. Saito focused on him, making sure he was out of earshot, and muttered quietly into my ear. He's probably going to be like, why the f*** did you do that, you dumb dumb? Yeah, who was that man? He snuck up behind me earlier. Supposedly his name is Saitani. How did it go, Saito? Were you able to find anything useful about my father? I... I'd rather answer Saito's questions right now than ask the questions. Because Saito's probably like, he probably knows that that guy is suspicious as all heck. Yeah, his face straight up looks like he's like, mm -mm, you did that. I'm, I'm not going to talk anymore about this in the public. Nah. MC, why? Why do you do this to me, MC? Oh, I felt my stomach drop from his words, and I assumed it meant the lead was false. I clenched my fists tightly, fighting back angry tears. I couldn't let Saito see my disappointment. Pay for my bill? I got tea? Ah, oh, frick, I wish I got tea. Man. Uh, okay. Man. Uh. Man, that did not go well. I thought it would, and instead I probably just led people closer to finding my father. Oh, my gluttony to be with Saito has backfired. Uh. Oh well. At least I got like a little flutter thingy with Saito. Saito and I headed back to the base, and I noticed fireflies grouping in circles as he updated me. The bald doctor staying in the Tarada Inn was in fact someone different from my father, who just happened to match his description. Uh, I mean, it, it wasn't necessarily a waste of time. Um... It's not a waste of time in the fact that it was probably 
the worst thing to do but also kind of the best thing to do because it's the worst thing because we might have led someone to finding our father quicker and finding out about us quicker but also it wasn't a waste and was actually good because we got to be with Saito <laughs> so hopefully to ease his worries it was not a waste of time whether it was a good span of time or bad span of time we'll find out later depending on how the story goes i'm gonna go grab uh my little iced tea sweet tea whatever you call it <laughs> it's not too far away don't worry <laughs> i just had to go over to my um little hutch to grab it Ugh. Ugh. there we go get comfy in my seat oh uh please don't worry <laughs> Even though we learned nothing about my father, I was, a, I was able to get some fresh air. That's nice. It is nice. Getting some fresh air is very nice. Because when you stay in one area for a long period of time, uh, any form of different air is kind of nice. Like, I remember long, very long ago, I was able to go into the village after being secluded for a long time. And it was really nice. It was really nice. Still, I couldn't shake the worry for my father. Saito looked to me reassuringly, and his face lit brightly as he remembered something. <gasps> what did he remember? Oh. Oh, yeah. He, he probably knows. He probably knows. Oh, you mean Saitani? I feel you. I felt the same exact way, even though he was just a still image. Ooh, I, I hit my mic. <laughs> even though it was a still image and only his lips moved and his eyes would blink. I, even I knew something was off. God dang MC. Uh-huh. I guess I didn't notice. To me, Saitani didn't seem guarded at all, judging by how open he was with the stories. Was something troubling you about him, Saito? It's troubling me! <laughs> he nodded in response, looking away from my face. I like how it said that he looked away from us, but he's looking straight at us. <laughs> yep. Most likely, that's what I'm guessing too. Come on. There we go. Ah, so good. This time it is actually the extra sweet tea. It's not the monster tea. <laughs> A Ronin? Hmm. What? Uh you question the fact that he might have been? He had a freaking Kodachi and a Katana and a freaking... Oh my goodness, this MC. Uh -huh. MC, you are getting on my nerves now. He seemed too jovial to be a lordless samurai, especially the ones causing trouble in Kyoto. Not everyone's the same, okay? Not all ronin are like jerks who like rob. Some ronin are just like wandering swordsmen. Like... <laughs> from what it seemed like in our conversation, he was the furthest thing from a warrior. There, there are many types of warriors, oh my goodness. Yeah, freaking MC, be careful, jeez arms. Understood. Do you, do you really understand? <laughs> uh, I wonder who this Saitani man really was. Definitely not what he was giving you. My first adventure into Fushimi taught me many things, and I could only await what came next. Jeez. Jeez, um, so let's just go back home. Take a page out of my book. Achievement unlocked. Let's go. I don't know what that means. Oh, July 1864. Chapter 2. Ah. Uh. I was, I was so focused on the achievement that I forgot. <laughs> but hey, we're on to chapter two now. So I guess I did leave a little bit early last time. I think I'm going to try to go for um, two chapters each stream. 
unless the chapter is short or long. It, it all depends on the thingy, but I'm trying to go for two as much as possible for each stream. So I don't know how, <laughs> how long this is going to be. <laughs> we'll find out. Maybe I'll do like uh, three. I don't know. Well, it all depends on the day. We'll find out. It's either going to be two or three chapters each stream. <laughs> no news of my father came forth the other day, and somber restlessness took hold of me. Originally, it seemed Toshi granted me approval to accompany the captains on their rounds through Kyoto to search for my dad. Then he called me in. Dang, that was a long sentence. <laughs> oh, jeez. Excuse me. I saw Okita and Toto had been summoned along with me, and I felt a partial sense of relief. It did a little... It did... Yeah, oh my goodness. Brain. It did a little to calm my chattering nerves, and I didn't want to be in a bad spot with Toshi. You called me? Toshi seemed to be in a foul mood, so I decided it was best to act with tact in my presence. Or in his presence. Oof, yeah. Yeah, we... Telling that man what we were doing in that area and telling him our full freaking name. Freaking, yeah. They're on guard now. What? But why? We just started looking for him. Stopping now would surely cause any of our leads to run dry. They already ran dry. Ah, his words stunted me. How could he back out on this? Toshi remained deeply composed. Yeah, yeah, they're probably out and about because the MC freaking blabbered her mouth off. Oh my goodness. Uh. I'd heard how the warriors of the Chosu domain associ os associated. Oh wait, no. Oh my goodness, I'm just gonna read. <laughs> I'd heard how the warriors of the Chosu domain associate with the Imperial Nationalist Party. Imperial Nationalist Party, a term for those who wanted to see the emperor as the supreme power of Japan, and also hoped to remove foreign influences from the country, also known as the Sonju faction. Son, son, no, Sonjo. Not Sonju. Sonjo. I hope I said that right. <laughs> For some reason, they found foreigners repulsive, using brute force to prevent any foreign presence. It, it, it all depends on the foreigners, honestly. All of their faith is aligned with the Emperor. The Shinsengumi, on the other hand, serve the Shogun, meaning they are directly opposed. If the Chosu act... Oh my god. If the Chosu... <laughs> uh, let's try that again. If the Choshu is active, it could mean that my own goal is of little concern for the Shinsengumi. I might become something of a burden to them. So, are you asking me to refrain from joining the rounds until things with the Choshu domain settle? Toshi nodded and turned towards the two men. Nah. <laughs> uh, at least I got my time with Saito while I could. Okay, his voice was a little soft. I turned it down from last time because he did some yelling during the thingy, and um, the other guy with the short hair, uh, I forgot his name. Did some yelling as well, so I turned down his voice as well. So I think it might have been too low. <laughs> I can't tell. <laughs> Toto seemed two steps behind Toshi's words until this very moment where it seemed to click. Oh, you naive little child. <laughs> People are watching. You may not think it may be wrong, but it is. <laughs> oh, you sweet summer children. <laughs> if she gets spotted with you guys even once, uh, that's bad. 
どさくさに紛れて逃げ出すこともないし。ね。That's what. Oh my goodness. That's not what should be on your mind right now. She's never gonna freaking run away. If anything, she's probably gonna be taken. Oh. I won't run. I knew he wasn't being serious, but I couldn't stand to keep my mouth shut. I made up my mind the minute the men of the Shinsengumi agreed to help me find my father. Wow, that was long. I made a vow to never run from the Shinsengumi for as long as they helped me find my father. My desire to find my father showed no signs of sl slowing, even since I first arrived in Kyoto. I will keep my vow. So please, please allow me to continue looking for my father. I bowed to. I really cannot speak today. I bowed to. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Speak! Oh, heavens help me. I bow to Okita. Oh my, it's because there's the two and then Okita. That's what's throwing me off. Keeping my eyes locked with his. His smirk, however, shrunk slowly as he gazed towards me, caught in between words to say, O Okita? Uh. I don't know. Am I a simp enough for Saito to go on rounds with them, or do I follow every logic and stay home? <laughs> Are you giving me hope? I'm pointing at you, good sir. Are you giving me hope? False hope? Better not be. She was probably already exposed. <sighs> I promise I won't cause any trouble. Please, if I lose the opportunity to search for my father, then the chances of finding him will sink. I lied prostrate before him, and Toshi simply sighed heavily. No if, ands, or buts. You're clear. Yes, of course. Thank you so much. I didn't know how else to show my gratitude, so I bowed deeply again. Dang. Alright. I had to make sure this was the best decision. There was something in his demeanor that made me unsure of my desire to leave the compound. Still, if I was with Okita or Toto, I'm sure I'd be safe and well protected. On the other hand, my presence could be an undue burden to them. What was I to do? Oh, Jesus. Uh, this is hard. Every logic states that we should probably remain in the compound. But at the same time, we've... We've probably already told them where we are. So there wouldn't be much point in staying. Because if they already know, they already know. So staying in the compound would do jack, jack nothing. Ugh. Ugh. Let's just dive in head first. Best thing to do. Jeez. Uh huh. It feels like there are more people walking around than usual. The streets of Kyoto were packed with people shuffling into the shops and businesses all over. <gasps> it's a Saturday or a Sunday? It's like 10 a.m. on a Sunday. <laughs> oh, only him? Oh. That's a little sad. But I think I know now why um, Saito wasn't wearing his blue robes. It was because we were in uh, Fushimi. Or Fushi... F yeah, Fushimi. So them seeing the blue robes would instantly be given away. <laughs> but now we are in our home domain, so blue robes are okay. Sorry, I was distracted by all the people. The city is filled with so much more cheer. I guess I just couldn't help myself. Okita's eyes twinkled, and he smiled 
uh, ferociously. I think that's the word. And I could sense him relax. Ooh, a festival. I love festivals. Uh, Gion? One of the red light districts in Kyoto. Oh. 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 No wonder why you're happy. Dang. Loyalism. A term for the philosophical and political leaning of those who wanted to remove foreign influences from Japan. Wait. The highlighted text is nationalist, but it gives me loyalism. Part 2. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. And twisting, and twisting. Though I wonder why a whole bunch of people are excited about the Red Light <laughs> freaking festival. It's very interesting. We walked down Kyoto's larger street, alongside the First Division. No one came within a few yards of us. They stepped away the moment their eyes caught the bright blue of the Shinsengumi's jackets. I noticed this phenomenon briefly when I first joined the Shinsengumi. Oh my god. When I first joined the Shinsengumi on their rounds, but it was clear the people of Kyoto feared them. Um, excuse me. I paused every so often to ask some of the less intimidated passerbys if they'd seen my father. I'm looking for someone. He's in his 40s and speaks with an Edo accent. He's a doctor, and he's a friendly, bald man. After a few hours of searching, I met someone who claimed to see a man watching my, er, matching my description. <gasps> As he spoke, he pointed toward a store selling wood and charcoal. Thank you so much! Okita caught my eye and gave me a stern look. He looked as if he was going to reprimand me when... Hey? Whoa. Interesting. The cry came from a Shinsengumi soldier. Oh my goodness. Soldier. And Okita turned, his lips tightening into a thin line. Ooh, Okita's getting serious. Let's go. <gasps> <laughs> okay, that's a little nice, Okita. Uh, I like it when he's serious. Mm, okay, that's kind of nice. <laughs> that was kind of nice looking. <laughs> his hand dropped to his sword as he ran towards the commotion. The townsfolk shrieked and ran like leaves before a gale. W Whoa! In the sudden press of fleeing citizens, I found myself pulled away from Okita. For a moment, I panicked, but realized that perhaps it was best. If I stayed close, he would have been forced to keep attention to me, or attention on me. I hoped to avoid distracting him. Don't move too far away, you might get caught. Oh. Oh, totally gonna get caught. This is the perfect moment for someone to come grab her. <sighs> I hid in an alley to watch, and I could return to the first. Uh, my goodness. And I could return to the first division once the tension simmered. Ah, uh, he sounds like a nice shop owner. Uh huh? I paused for a moment. A strange man was inviting me into his store. Not strange on the face of it, perhaps, but I was warned many times to be on my guard. I was about to politely refuse when I realized it was the store to which the man pointed earlier. <sighs> oh, that's even more suspicious! Um, excuse me, but is this Masus? <laughs> Great! You see, I'm looking for someone and... <laughs> Ah, you jerk! Huh? I'm not of the Shinsengumi. Oh my goodness. You see a little kid. A little freaking kid. Who's probably not even wearing blue. No, it's not like that. I'm just looking for someone. Even if I had been walking with them, the reaction of the store's customers seemed excessive. Yeah. 
本当に運がないよねある意味こいつらも僕もだと<笑>ああはあ、wait what he gave a small unconcerned shrug and leapt through the door of the shop Masu's exploded with the clang of blades, men swearing and scrambling across furniture. Uh, what? Uh, um, what is the meaning of this? What on earth just happened? Oh, maybe a customer was one of the Ronin. Ah, I see, I see. Oh. Well then. Ah. When we returned to Shinsengumi headquarters, Sanon had a number of less than pleasant words. We kneeled for some time as the colonel berated us before Okita finally spoke up. So many Okoroko to Naija Nideska. Bokta to a Joshu no Kanja of Skamai Tiktakashi. When the fight was over, we discovered a massive arms cache and confiscated the entire thing. Well, I guess that's a good thing, though. No one bothered to explain to me what was happening. Oh, I had to take a breath there, sorry. However, and I was utterly lost. Oof. <laughs> I mean, he's not wrong. Okita has his moments that I'm like, uh. Uh, no. Oh. Gimon Masu, a merchant who sells firewood and charcoal. It was actually a cover identity for Shuntaro Furutaka while operating in Kyoto. We can look up the turn later um, for the Shuntaro uh, Furutaka. <laughs> その通りですけど。でも捕まえるしかない状況だったんですよ。はあ。ま、掃除の言う通り、ある意味では大手柄だろうな。へっけ。でも古田が泳がせるために頑張ってた島田国や山崎国に悪いと思わないわけ。ああ
I'm gonna defend Okita in this. Um, it was the MC's fault for freaking running away and everything. So don't freaking blame Okita, okay? Okita was busy doing his freaking job and the MC decided to go off, so... Frick you. <sighs> he glared at me, his eyes hard and angry, and my throat tightly clenched into dryness. Excuse me? I really do not like this man. I really do not like this man. I didn't like him from the beginning and then he got wounded and I felt sorry for him, but now he's berating a, a heck no. Uh, when I'd first met him, Sanon had been nice, if a little quiet. After his injury, however, it was as if he'd become an entirely different man. <clears throat> ah, at least Toshi's come. Sanan looked up as Toshi walked into the room. He gave the commander a tight, wry smile, but only but got only a peaceful and partial glance in return. <sighs> well then, um, yeah, that, that, that would work. I mean, would they tell you the whole truth, though? I feel like they would only tell the whole truth if they knew that it was going to go down without a fault. His voice was calm and measured, but we all felt the import of his words. Yeah, that's crazy. Mm, I mean, if you kidnap the Emperor, that means you can keep him safe, I'd assume. Imperialism, too. <laughs> a term for the philosophical and political leaning- Oh wait, we- Wait, we already read this one, didn't we? Yeah, we don't need to read it again. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Heck yeah. Even though each man displayed his professionalism differently, they were all clearly prepared. As they quieted down, Toshi turned towards me as if he had only just noticed my presence. No, her father was taken. So they do know. Uh. What? Ah, of course. Dang. My father was someone from the West? But my father went missing in Kyoto. How would he be with someone from the West? It's been months, girl. It's been months. So... He could have gone to the West. I, I could see it. But if no one had an answer for me... Ooh, Susumi... Oh! <gasps> Wait, is he one of the DLCs? Is he... I think he's one of the DLCs. I'm not gonna go for him, but it's kind of nice to know that he's part of it. <laughs> Preparations for the raid began immediately. Ooh, raid time. Within moments, the compound was like a beehive, with soldiers and officers running back and forth. The tension felt thick enough to cut with a knife. I found it affecting me, despite my best efforts. My encounter at Masu's treated some of their current headache. Er, my encounter at Masu's created some of their current headache? Oh! I was understanding that wrong. And I'd hope to make up for it. Hey, can I... Uh, oh. It became clear to me that I had that I had very little to offer when it came to preparing for a raid. At the end of the day, 
All I could do was stay quietly to the side to avoid being a burden. Yeah, raids are... Raids are organized, but also a gigantic mess. Just then, I heard someone's voice out of the blue. No. Sick. Hmm. Ah, that's right. There was a handful of men who were bedridden from a swift food poisoning epi food poisoning epidemic, leaving them short-handed in battle. They planned on dividing the troops in half. Kondo's troop will go to Ikeda Inn, and Toshi's troop will head to Shikoyu Inn. Shi Shikoku? Shikoku. Yeah. Inn. Uh, Ikeda Inn. One of the several locations where the nationalist group claiming to support the emperor would gather. And then the other term we'll find out later. <laughs> hmm. Them? <gasps> Are they talking about the Furies? Are they talking about the Furies? Oh. They're talking about the Furies. Ooh. What? I swore I heard something before about a react reaction to blood but this was something i was not supposed to hear hi lil hi sorry my dog came to my chair <laughs> hello how are you you doing good yeah okay go on back to your pet bed or do you want to go outside i'll wait <laughs> the two men hadn't realized that i was listening to their conversation but it was crucial that I didn't say anything, or that I don't say anything. So they could fight? What do they mean by that? So they could fight? So maybe they were injured and something... Huh? Oof. Love you, Lil. Mwah. Dang. There was no doubt that what I was hearing was not meant for my ears. At this point, just tell me everything, really. <laughs> Just give me all of the info, because apparently the MC will just give it out no matter what. <laughs> I shoved my fingers into my ears and closed my eyes tightly. The best I could do was make sure I didn't hear anything else. Oh my goodness, why don't you just leave the room? <laughs> my eyes flew open to see Kondo in front of me. Uh, um, I, I was... I couldn't just sit there. I told him the truth, how I'd felt so useless, and left my room to find some way to help. Y yes. Excited. More like bloodthirsty, to be honest. You're... You're, oh my goodness, you're offering the MC, who's a girl who can barely hold a freaking sword, even though she took sword lessons, apparently, but definitely is no match for everybody to join you guys on a raid. Oh, that does not sound good. <laughs> what? That was not what I'd expected to him to say. You mean go on a raid with you? I don't know if what I could do. <laughs> She's gonna be more of a burden. Oh my goodness. Okay, a messenger isn't that bad of a deal. That she could do that. Hmm. You raise a good point. Now that he mentioned it, I did remember hearing that Kondo's troop only had ten people in it. Well, alright. 
if I'll just be a messenger. His face split into a grin and I found myself on the way to the Ikata, Ikata Inn to accompany their raid. Kondo's presence was relieving and his good nature gave me comfort in asking him a question. Um, Kondo, your uniform is different than the one your other men wear. The Shinsengumi's unique light blue, light blue uniform made it so anyone in Kyoto would recognize them. However, Kondo's uniform was white, almost cream, setting him apart from his men. Yep. I see. I didn't know the core uniform came in so many varieties. The core uniform, a white colored uniform used during the night or special occasions. Like weddings or other things, I don't know. <laughs> or uh, funerals. Depends. Their usual uniform was well fitting and the color stood out, but this white uniform was more elegant. I smiled while I looked at his uniform, and I braced myself for what was to come. That and also, since it's white, you can easily clean it. But... I don't know if they had bleach back then. I don't think they did. <laughs> Hour of the dog. Approximately 8 p.m. Heck yeah. After we arrived at Akita, I... I... I keep, oh my god. I keep the... Oh, my brain. <laughs> I was set, sent off on several short errands nearby. I returned to hear Nagakura talking to Okita. Oh dang. Oh, and they can't even... Oh, the ends of their sleeves have blue instead of it being the other. Ah, uh, I see, I see. So you can't even like put bleach on it. <laughs> that does seem sloppy. It's very... And also he mentioned it, so it, it seems suspicious. Oh, shoot. I pressed too soon. I apologize. I apologize, Okita. I didn't get you. I didn't let you speak. <laughs> Nagakura and Okita's conversation was very lighthearted, which didn't quite suit the subject matter. Perhaps the Choshu were trying to trick the Shinsengumi. I certainly wouldn't have known. Whatever the reason for their behavior, however, knew... What's that noise? Oh, now it's gone. Interesting. Oh. What the frick? I hear a pounding and I don't know what it is. Then again, there is construction nearby, so it might be that. Whatever the reason for their behavior, however, neither Nagakura or Okita seemed worried. Uh, Toto noticed me as I approached and jogged over. Uh, Aizu Domain, one of the Japan's more influential, cl influential clans. They were related by blood to the Tokugawa clan and were put in charge of the office for the Kyoto military commissioner. And then we'll find out the other one later. To be honest, I didn't really see anyone nearby. Oh? The larger man smacked Toto's playful. The, the larger man smacked Toto playfully on the shoulder with a bark of laughter. Heck yeah, got to do it ourselves. Uh, a little bit, but it's fine. Actually, I wonder why um, Rick. Ah, uh, I, I, I'm forgetting the short hair guy's name, <laughs> but I wonder why he's wearing a different headband than the rest. Toto frowned, and Takeda, who was on standby behind Toto, nodded in agreement. Uh, he's not wrong. Okay. 
池田君がそう言うなら、わかった。もう少しだけ待っている。Just not too long, or else we're gonna be noticed, honestly. But no matter how long we waited, the officials never came. Hour of the boar. Approximately ten. Jeez, arms, two hours? Something's not right. Something is very much not right. I looked up at the sky. The moon inched itself further across the sky since we'd arrived at the Ikeda Inn. Yeah, at that point, the people probably left the inn. Yeah. The chief had been quiet all this time, but when Okita addressed him, he finally stood up to speak. Let's go. Okita nodded quietly but firmly. Ah, oh, you're one of those type. Oh, not only are you a jerk, but also you're like, I'm just gonna keep watch and not get into the fight. We're low on freaking men, dude. Join in the fight. <laughs> okay, I like Okita a lot now. Okita's like, I know you're a jerk. Oh. <laughs> Yep, but if you need anything, I'll be your messenger. Yep. Yep. Which straggler can is all it takes, honestly. All right. He stood up, smiled curtly, and ran into the inn. <laughs> This is an intense scene, so I'm not going to look at the terminology. His declaration was with met. Oh my goodness! His declaration was met with a cacophony of yells and screams erupting from the from out of the inn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Toto and Nagakura grinned at one another as they sauntered towards the inn. Yeah. Then the battle began in earnest. The yelling of men and the clang of swords filled the air, rolling out through the doors and windows of the inn. I heard feet pound upstairs and the screams of men dying, the wet thud of bodies dropping to the floor. Um, well, there was someone, but... Frickin' talking about pretty boy. All the men who'd come with the captain ran around the back and couldn't hear Nagakura. Takita, on the other hand, was stationed outside to arrest anyone trying to flee the building. What should I do? The only person left to go help them was me. But even if I did, what could I do? That was when I heard Kondo. <gasps> no! Nagakura called out from somewhere else in the inn. No! Oh no! Toto, no! I had no desire to enter a slaughterhouse with men killing one another. Even if I did, I had no illusions about my skill with the blade. I was sure to be killed before I'd even drawn it. But I could hardly stand around doing nothing. Oh, MC. Perhaps if I could fight, I could rescue the wounded, find them, and carry them out of the inn. I made up my mind, steeled myself, and ran inside. 
Inside it was pitch black. The smell of blood hit me in the stomach like a fist filled with it, filling with air. There were dark lumps on the floor everywhere. The bodies of fallen men. Where were Okita and Toto? It had sounded like a good idea at the time, but as I looked around that charnel house, I realized there was no way I could carry two men outside. What should I do? Uh, I I'm looking for baby boy. Because they mentioned that n not to die, so I had to look for Toto. He was always looking after me, so it was time I returned the favor. I looked around the inn. <laughs> what? Oh no! Out of the darkness, Ronan appeared. His sword at the ready headed straight towards me. Just straight for me. <laughs> ah! As his sword swept down, another imposed itself between us. Nagakura's blade. Yeah! Frick yeah! Get him! The Ronin gurgled wetly as Nagakura drove his sword deep into the man's stomach. Blood exploded everywhere. I felt my throat suddenly rise. So much blood. I'll go get him, don't worry. I, oops, I did it a little bit too soon. I apologize. I got it, don't worry. With that, he turned around and brought his blade up to meet another Ronin's. Got it! I'm gonna go to Toto's, just as Nagakura asked. I turned and ran off through the battlefield the Ikeda Inn had become. As soon as I got to the top of the second floor, I found him. Toto! No, baby! You're hurt! He blinked and looked around, almost as if he couldn't see. Perhaps it was all the blood running from the wound on his forehead. I'm here to freaking help you! What? What do you mean? I'm here because I was worried about you. I, I thought maybe I could help. I'm gonna worry about you anyway. I'm gonna worry about all of these guys. Maybe, but that's a serious injury. Uh, clearly not. As he spoke, he turned around, his sword held in a ready position, prepared to defend me. But he was so weak, I could see that he only kept his grip on it with great effort. Oh, dang, he has official art. That's not good. The Ronin across from us, on the other hand, was as silent and calm as a great statue. Wait, things didn't seem right. Suddenly, I realized what it was. The Ronin had no sword. I didn't have the time to try and figure out what that meant, though. I had to... Uh... I'm gonna help him. It may not seem like he has a sword, but he probably has something else up his hand. Or up his sleeve. We had to do something about the Ronin. Dot dot dot. With grim determination, I laid my hand on the hilt of my sword. He saw me move, and Toto's eyes went wide. I'll fight too, then. I might not be able to help much, but I can watch your back. He looked stunned for a second, and then his mouth split into a grin. Ooh! Okay, this I don't mind. <laughs> That'd take like five years. Yeah, it would. It wasn't really the answer that I expected to hear, and I couldn't help but laugh at it. The Ronin looked at us and sighed. Then don't. Then go away. What? What did he mean? Dang, he cocky. He was letting us go? Considering the situation we were in, that was quite a favor. But how could we believe his word? He's probably like, I won't hurt you. It, like, you can walk away, but if you come to me, I am going to kill you. Like, he doesn't give a frick. Toto wobbled. Toto! He could barely stand. 
Oh, if he's not. If he's not, then why are we fighting him? I mean, normal people come to an end as well. His words were forced, as if it took all of his effort to speak, and the tip of his sword was beginning to shake. He showed no fear, but his injuries were, ser were serious. He couldn't put any more power into his arms, to the point of not being able to hold his sword. Dang. He's giving off, like... Uh, frick. Ganon? Ganondorf? No. Yeah. Gan Ganondorf vibes? The main villain in Legend of Zelda. It, he goes by so many different names that all I know is that it's G. <laughs> the Ronin took one last unreadable look at us and then turned around to leave. We, no, uh-uh. Hold on. He began to run after the Ronin, but he slipped in a fresh pool of blood and crashed to the floor. Baby. Baby. He made a few more grunts that sounded like attempts at further curses, then stumbled and collapsed, unconscious. I need to stop the bleeding. Quickly, I tore off a section of my sleeve and pressed it against his forehead. Just as the man stated, it looked as though the blow only tore the skin, although it penetrated through to his skull. At last, I felt myself relax. We were still in danger, but those wounds didn't look fatal. That was when I saw the head guard lying on the floor. Head guard, a simple piece of armor to protect the head, it is a sheet of metal attached to a cloth headband. What they were wearing earlier. Uh huh. It must have been Toto's, but it has been cracked cleanly in half by something. Their fight must have been awfully intense. I was starting to feel dizzy from the stench of blood, but Toto needed me. I couldn't give up. Oh. Finally, the sun rose from the black sky. The raid itself had lasted only two hours. But for me, at least, it had felt far longer. There had been 20 Imperial Nationalists at the in <laughs> the Ikata Inn. The Shinsengumi had killed seven Ronin and injured four more. I learned later that with the help of the Aisu Domain and the Kyoto Judiciary Commissioner, they arrested 23 people. The owner of the Ikaita Inn had also been arrested for trying to help the Choshu repel uh, rebels escape. The Shinsengumi had won an incredible victory, fighting against superior numbers in enemy territory, but they paid dearly for it. Okita had taken a blow to the chest and lost consciousness. Toto had been cut on the forehead and the bleeding refused to stop. Nagakura had injured his left hand. One of the Shinsengumi soldiers lost his life at the inn's rear entrance, bleh, rear entrance, and two others were severely injured there as well. It didn't seem likely that they would survive. The Kyoto military and judiciary commissioners also fought the Choshu uh, Ronin. Now we can look at this one, though it's slightly different. The person holding uh, Kyoto military commissioner. The person holding this office was tasked with keeping the peace in the city of Kyoto. It was occupied at one point by uh, Katamori Matsudara Daira of the Aizu Domain. With their successful resolution of the Battle of Ikaida Inn, the Shinsengumi had at last made a name for themselves. Battle of Ikaida Inn. The incident where the Shinsengumi troops raided the Ikaida Inn to halt a plot to kidnap the Emperor and burn the city of Kyoto. It looked as though the peace in Kyoto had been protected. Never could I have imagined what the ultimate result of their victory would be. Dang. Oh my good. Oh my goodness. I'm cold, but at the same time, I am slightly, uh... Slightly sweating. <laughs> July. 1864. 
Oh, my head hurts a little bit. <laughs> I think that was a little too intense. <laughs> End of July, 1864. Weeks passed since the Battle of the Ikaida Inn. In the meantime, the Shinsengumi grew stricter during their rounds to arrest the numerous outlaw ronin that escaped from the Ikaida Inn. Hmm. Rumors surfaced of extremists who were plotting to exact revenge on the Shinsengumi. I'm gonna put my drink down without putting the cap back on because I'm just, I, it's too much work to uncap it. <laughs> Additionally, there were also problems occurring with warriors spanning from other domains, making things tense around the headquarters. Things were finally setting... Oh, I hit my mic. I am sorry. Things were finally setting down. As a result of my efforts during the battle, they grew more encourages, in, encourages, in, in, encourage, oh, encouraging. Oh my god. There has been so many ists at the end of words recently that it's like, ist, ist that, ist everywhere. <laughs> they grew more encouraging of my involvement. The Shinsengumi allowed me to sweep the area in front of the headquarters on my own. One day, I was cleaning the courtyard with a broom when I heard gentle footsteps approaching me from behind or in front. Oh. He sounds so sweet. Hmm. Oh, uh, yes. <gasps> oh. My heart. Oh. Oh. Oh, he's so pretty. He's so pretty. <laughs> He has like the same hair, roughly same hairstyle as like the other guy, but he seems like such a sweet, pure boy. Oh. I swear, if he's a DLC character, I don't know. I I'd have to choose between him and Saito. <laughs> the voice came from behind me, so I was caught off guard when answering. You're, you're what? Huh? No, no, Toshi, Toshi, no! Don't make him go away. He's a pretty boy. He's a pretty pure boy. And he knows something. Please! Oh, let him go away. Huh? Toshi showed up suddenly, as if he telepathically knew I was speaking to someone. <laughs> oh, Toshi, uh, this man is. Aw, uh, he looks a little cocky in that one, though, but he's still pretty cute. Oh, and he has a cute little pony. Oh, he's so cute! Ah. <sighs> Before I could finish my sentence, the man ran towards uh, Toshi. Oh, he's a baby! Also, I I kind of recognize his voice. He kind of sounds like um. Shoot, what was his name from Utano Prince Sama? Uh, the one with the glasses. I think that might be the one that he reminds me of because I, I faintly recognize that voice i just don't remember what it's from but i think i think him maybe so hachiro iba oh he's baby yeah what is he doing here who is he i want to know when toshi realized who it was his eyes grew wide <laughs> <laughs> I love his voice. <laughs> Shogunite orders. Orders given from the Shogunite. Hi, huh, you don't say. I don't know why that's a term. What? You're talking about me? You're talking about me or you're talking about Toshi? Oh. oh, so he was talking about Toshi. Aw, poor baby. He's like, you're a samurai. And he's like, I'm just a ronin. I'm not really a samurai. Oh, oh Toshi. <laughs> Baby, baby. Yakasu, <laughs> True. 
前に池田屋の話も聞いています皆さんとてもご活躍だったみたいですね Goodness, he's so pretty. Even his face is pretty. Oh. <laughs> Toshi's blushing. And it's so cute. Oh, man. I'm going to have to, like, unless you guys want to see it, I think I want to go for the other guys as well. Like, probably. Toshi, Todo, and Okita, maybe, and and this other dude. If if I'm gonna make this playthrough specifically for Saito, then I definitely want to do uh, routes with the other uh, Okita, Todo, Toshi, and this guy. So four. So if you guys want to see that, I can do that if you want. If not, then I'll just I'll, I'll just play it on my own. <laughs> anyway, I'll see it. I'll see it no matter what. <laughs> How very unlike himself. Toshi seemed to be flustered and his cheeks were rosy. He's <laughs> so cute. Judging from their conversation, it appeared that this gentleman had come to visit Toshi. The rhythm of their report seemed to suggest that they had been friends for quite some time. Once I verified their conversation had come to a halt, I mustered the courage to speak to Toshi. Um, Toshi. Uh, may I ask who this is? Hachiro Iba. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, he's so cute. Oh. Well, we're, we're going to see how it goes with you, good sir. We're going to continue with Saito, but good sir. You are high up there on the list. And depending on what you do, you might actually suppress Saito. That's a lot of terms. Hatamoto, high ranking of vessels of the oh, excuse me. Of the Tokugawa who served the shogun directly. And then I'll find out about the other terms later. <laughs> oh, I'm Lee Yukimura. Ha, ah, nice to meet you too. But why did he say you? Why did he say you? I'm a little curious about that. Uh, oh, yes, nice to meet you too. As soon as Iba and I finished our, uh, our introductions, Toshi was inclined to get us indoors. Yeah, let's go inside. Into some cool air, hopefully. I took tea to the two in the hall. Toshi told me to remain there, so I decided to listen in. And Okuzume? I listened intently, but subtly, since I was unfamiliar with the context of the or contents of their conversation. <gasps> oh dang, he is of high importance. Oh wow, I'm honored to meet such a man. <laughs> oh, he's like, it's nothing. I just got it from my father. I don't feel like I've earned it. <gasps> Baby! <laughs> But what would bring a man of his stature here, Toshi? This meant Iba was someone who worked directly with the Shogun. What an honor. It made no sense why he would interact with the Shinsengumi, or why he had business with us. I did my best to nod without offending him. Oh? He's the heir of a dojo? Shinko Yoto Ryu. Ryu. Meh. One of the four oldest and most respected fencing schools in Edo. Hachiro Iba is the eldest son of the head of the family and institution. Dang. 
Oh, he's so cute. So no Iba Dojo to Retashinaita Dojo to a Soko Soko Kony Matina. So no end. Dang. Eh, so none of this. Oh my goodness, both of them are smiling at me. I can't take this. I can't take this. They're both so freaking cute. Oh my goodness. The fact that they're both smiling with such cute faces and the ponytails and they're. <laughs> Oh, he got excited because he was going to be the friend. Oh, oh. oh so cute. Oh, he was going to be the friend. Oh dang, he knows. But then again, I said my I said my name, so maybe my name was a giveaway. But dang, oh Toshi. Bring back your smile, please. It was cute. Iba glanced at me when he asked his question before looking at Tosh uh, looking to Toshi. Uh I gasped and cupped my hands over my mouth, and Toshi's eyes darted towards me sternly. <laughs> Didn't say anything. Didn't say anything. It would seem Iba picked up on the fact I was female, judging by their interaction. Yeah, but thankfully nobody's around, so you're good. You're you're good, sweet little bean. You're good. I didn't want to confirm any answers, so I stared towards the mat underneath without speaking. Yeah. あ、ガッツウィーベビーボーイアイラブヒムイバドゥトシアンがそう言うならまもりますよあ、ガッツウィーベビーボーイアイラブヒムイバドゥトシアンがそう言うならまもりますよあ、ガッツウィーベビーボ
Uh, oh, look at that little profile picture. He's so cute. Hachiro Iba, the eldest son of one of the oldest and most res respected dojos in Japan. He's a master of the... Oh. Shin Gyoto Ryu martial arts, and his prowess granted him prestige, prestige among warriors and officials. Took me a moment. Oh, oh, he's a. I feel him so hard. I feel him. I feel him so hard. Why don't you have a voice line for this one, good sir? Unless you said it in the line before and it just didn't continue. Uh, I'll, I'll say this one since he's not saying it. Seems no one can... <laughs> Seems no one can escape his... ...amable <laughs> nature. <laughs> I'm trying to go a little bit deeper for him, but he doesn't have much of a deep voice. <laughs> he seemed to be especially fond of Toshi, though. But I couldn't dare say that. I'll be sure to. Understood. Oh, wait, or was that line originally meant for us? I think that line might have been for us and it was mislabeled or something, maybe. <sighs> Before we knew it, evening had come and Iba told us it was time for him to depart. No! Goodbye. Okay. His face seemed reluctant. If not a little forlorn, and he left the compound. Baby. Hmm. I stared at him as he walked into the distance until a small figure was removed from my eyes. Iba was a bleh. Iba was a mysterious person. Even if he was someone very important and upper class, he acted with integrity and kindness, commanding a lot of respect from the captains of the Shinsengumi. I did not think there was a samurai like him in the Shogunite. So he is a de oh. Oh. I'm sorry, Saito. I'm so sorry. Oh. Oh man, I definitely have to go for his route. No if, ands, or buts. Oh man. Mm -hmm. Okay. Should I continue on with Saito, or should I go for this sweet little bean? Jiro, Iba, or Saito? Iba, or Saito? Iba, or Saito? No, no. We have a goal, and it is Saito. But if ever we get the ch if ever we get the chance of Iba, we're going for him. Ah, uh, dang. Hello. No, game, please no. Please no. No, don't crash on me too. Please. Please. Please don't crash on me too. This is... Hmm. <laughs> I didn't last save. I didn't even do a quick save. Why is... It's doing a little loading thingy, so it's doing more than what it did last night. Because last night I didn't get anything. Let me see if I can... Yeah, I can at least do other things. I can check my stuff. Make sure things... So... <sighs> everything else seems fine, but like... <sighs> Man... Man, yeah, no, it's still doing a little loading thingy. I don't know if I should wait or not. I'm... I really hope it's... Because I did not save. And I am not able to save at the moment. Because it's doing its, like, little loading whatever crashy thing it's doing right now. Oh, there's the thud. <clears throat> Frick, if... If this goes on for, like, another minute or two, I'm probably going to have to uh, get out of the game. And instead of exiting the stream, because 
last night I wasn't able to do anything, literally anything. So I had to cancel the stream. But for this, um, I can touch and do other things with the rest of my programs and everything. So at least I can just skip through dialogue real quick and continue it on with the stream instead of all the other stuff. Yeah, it is. It's not doing anything. It's still doing its little loady thingy. I'm going to see what task manager says. Task manager son. Oh, it's not responding. Oh, it came back. Oh, no, it didn't come back. It's that's weird. On my screen, it's showing um, the scene in the beginning where it said the fourth year of the Bunkyo era became the Ganji Ganon and the summer sweetly blossomed. It's showing that scene again on my screen, but faded. I wonder what's up. Ah. Uh, yeah, it's not responding. It says hakukiwin.exe is not responding. If you close the program, you might lose information. Uh, are we willing to wait? Hit wait just to be safe. Because what I'm seeing on my screen is definitely not what is being captured uh, in the program. Yeah, it's not responding. I I'm... I'm going to close it. Hang on. Why? Well, Windows reports the problem. So I'm closing it. I'm going to bring it back up, though. Oh, my goodness. Yes, I know. Controller Steam. I know already. Just give me my freaking game. Checking system data. Loaded safety. Okay, come on. Thank you. Okay. Yep. Okay. We're going to skip some dialogue and everything, so... And I found out, since I had to redo some thingies, I found the sweet skip read. No, it doesn't... Oh my god, it's not working this time. Skip! No. Skip. It was working last... N You've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. Skip. Why is it not? Do I have to click it? It was working before. Why isn't it not working now? Oh my god. I guess I'm going to have to freaking... Uh, I guess I'm going to have to... I apologize. Not really. For this dude. I will skip his dialogue anytime I can. Uh, we're going to do the same stuff. Dang, I, I really cannot skip. Don't mind me as I probably... Let me move my cursor off the screen. We got this. I'm going to do the same things that we did before. I really wish the skip was working. Because apparently it's... It's not. I'd like to... I'd like to skip. I love you, Saito, but... We already heard you. Come on. At least we get to see all the background art again of this area. Because it's really pretty. Let's go. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Saito, sweet baby boy. Let's go. Let me get to see this dude again. No, thank you. And then we still did it somehow. Err, come on. Jesus. This freaking sucks. I am definitely gonna have to freaking quick save and such. <laughs> Chapter 2, and this I cannot skip. Let me skip, please. Oh, so that's Okita's little scene, if we go to save him. Interesting. 
I'm still gonna go for a Toto, though. I still wanna... Even though I like Okita, too, I, I think... In the grand scheme of things, I think I like Toto more. Like, if you look between these guys, I like the cute little boy, Toto. He's too sweet. Uh, leave and search. That's what we did, yeah? Yeah. That's what we did. Yeah. Feel a little bit bad not helping Okita, though. Because he did help us in this part. Mm, no, we're, we'll still go for Toto. Let's go. And then we get those guys, or at least one of the, the left guys is warrior record. But I have absolutely zero interest. <laughs> okay, I am going to quickly save. Yes, I do. I'm going to quickly save and continue on with the button mashing. Urgh, come on. Raid time. Intenseness. I wonder why those people didn't come for like two hours. That's very interesting. Like what happened? Like how were they held up? Because apparently it seems like they showed up later. But... It's so weird. Urgh. Let's go. Urgh, come on, come on, come on. Poor baby boy, sweet baby boy. Let's help him. Oh my god, his back. I just wonder why the skip read is not working. Because it was working earlier. And suddenly not. Come on. Come on. Try. Okay. Definitely gonna definitely save. Right here. Gonna save. Okay. So if stuff happens, at least we won't be too far away. Sweet pretty boy. Look at him. Oh, he's so pretty. Oh, so pretty. Man and his cute little smile with his closed eyes, so cute. The temptation to draw these boys is very strong. Especially mainly the ones I like. Oh, I totally forgot about Harada! Might go for him too at some point. Toshi, Todo, Saito, Iba, um, and Harada are the four boys I like. Bye! By Hachiro Iba's warrior record has been unlocked. At least I am happy that we have the option to go for him. I am happy about that. Yay, it worked! Oh, thank goodness. August 1864. Oh, wow, we've been going for two, ow, two hours now. Oh, frick. <clears throat> okay. Let's save. There we go. Uh, just to be safe. August 1864. After the fight at the inn, I was able to leave the compound much more often. I suppose after what I've done, Hachikata thought I earned a little more trust. I didn't feel like I did anything extraordinary, but I wasn't about to look a gift horse in the mouth. I was generally happy that the or, yeah, generally happy that the man Toshi approved uh, that the man Toshi approved of me. That was weird wording. On this particular day, I was out on patrol with Harada in the 10th Division. Hey, we're out with him! Excuse me, Harada? The Shinsengumi is out patrolling day and night, right? But what exactly is it that you do? Well, you see, they need to make sure that nobody gets hurt. They're kind of like a second police. Most of the men in the Shinsengumi were intimidating, death-dealing titans. Ti titans. But Harada was a rare exception, warm and friendly. 
ピンからキリまで大小さまざまだな筋切りや追いはぎはもちろん食い逃げも捕まえるし喧嘩も止める Yeah, basically the secondary police People who don't pay for food 消化を脅して金を奪おうとする奴らも俺ら新選組が取り締まってる Yeah It wasn't really the answer I'd expected What were you expecting? <laughs> <laughs> they go on patrol to make sure that Kyoto is safe. What do you expect them to do? Just murder anybody? Jeez, um, I guess the Shinsen... I guess the Shinsengumi's job is closer to magistrates than I thought. Thinking back, I remembered how excited they were during the raid. What they did at the inn was far more intense than their day-to-day -day work. A little further down the road, a couple of men in Shinsengumi blues were waving at us. Nagakura! I guess our separate rounds brought us at the, to the same spot. Nope. But at least I got to meet you guys. No, nothing today. Well, I mean, if you always check the same spot over and over again at some point you are not gonna find anything yeah yeah you're right there was something contagious oh my goodness there was something contagious about his optimism yeah anything exciting Ooh, busy? Interesting. I hadn't noticed it before, but he was right. They were acting strange. Almost nervous. I mean, wasn't there the festival earlier? Though I think it is a different month now. Yeah, it's August now, so the festival's over. Yeah, it looks like they're getting ready to move. <laughs> Most likely, honestly. What? War? There wasn't a war, was there? I mean, there's people fighting about imperialistness and all that stuff, so of course there's gonna be a war. Yep, yep. More than a bloody nose, it seems. Oh, very much so. <laughs> They're probably coming full force now. Were the Choshu going to try something again? The Great Defenders! They accepted their situation and never complained. I had a good deal of respect for Harada and Nagakura. Ooh, from the top? Let's go! So you think the Aizu will give you all orders? I hope so. You guys deserve official titles. You deserve it. I mean, I want to join you guys. Why not? What? I was perplexed by the sudden inv invitation. Does this mean I could march as a member of the Shinsengumi? Dot dot dot. It seemed rather inappropriate for me to ask to participate just for curiosity's sake. Still, I very much hope to be helpful in some way. Could I perhaps do something like what I'd done at the Ikaida Inn? However, there's also the chance that I'd become a hindrance as opposed to helping them out. I... Let's go! Let's come along! My mind was made up. I nodded to Harada. I want to help. I would like to participate and help in some way. He. He. <laughs> yeah, it's no problem. 
No problem at all. Several days later... Excuse me. I carefully lifted the serving platter with tea for the captains and made my way to the common room. No problem. I mean, I have been helping around. So. <laughs> I mean, well, I was a page as far as everyone knew. The thought to correct him crossed my mind, but instead I stayed silent as I passed the tea out. Nah, don't feel bad. I got you. Oh, it's nothing. After all, I am Toshi's page. <laughs> I feel like that's just like one of those honorary titles kind of thing where it's like, I am this, but it means absolutely nothing. <laughs> kind of like Grog's title. <laughs> Uh, I don't remember what it specifically was. But it was like, uh, something of this and that. <laughs> I spoke barely above a whisper, but Inoue smiled and nodded at me. Okita took a sip of his tea, and a mild grimace flickered, ac flickered across his face. Um, is something wrong with the tea? <sighs> Kita, come on! Hey! Hey, come on now! Okita, you were on my good list. You are slowly going to go back on my bad list if you continue being a jerk like that. Come on! Brick my controller at you, good sir. I'm sorry, I'll make a new batch right now. Yeah, and it's August. Do you really want to drink hot tea in August? Come on. Be kinder, please. <laughs> it was silent for a second before the door slid open and Kondo arrived with a stern look upon his face. Oh no. Ooh, what's going on? Ouch! Ow! Huh? Oh, that hurt. Yay! You guys have finally got noticed. Congrats, congrats. But geez, don't yell like that again, please. He looked just as happy with the news as the rest of them. Apparently, getting orders directly from the Aizu domain was an occasion for some excitement. Toshu, however, was the lone exception. Dang, going straight into it. Yeah! As Toshi rebuked the man, uh, the, the men, the warriors all scattered uh, sequentially to their stations. When it was only the caption, captains and myself, oh my goodness, remaining in the room, Toshi vented. I mean, in order to be noticed by the higher ups, you do have to do something important, and that was kind of important. Thinking back at what happened at Ikaida Inn, while the Shinsengumi were fighting hard, the Aizu domain was elsewhere and came strolling in later at the at the scene. Oh, he's talking about that part and how they freaking weren't there to begin with, those freaking jerks. <sighs> I don't know. Uh, they could be making up for the fact that they weren't there. They're probably like, oh, we weren't able to take care of it, so we're just going to give you something good. Here you go. We're going to give you orders kind of thing. Hmm. Suspicious, suspicious. Remembering that incident, I feel like I can understand Toshi, at least to some extent. Oh, uh, yeah, because all three of them are injured now. Yeah. Oh, 
He rubbed his left arm absently and looked away. Yeah. Mm, poor baby. Is it though? If it wasn't stopping, that means something important, especially with the head. Ugh. Okita acted as, acted as if he didn't hear Sanana at all while Toshi. To, no, not Toshi. Todo. <laughs> they both have H names and T names at the same time. And I keep, because I'm bad at pronouncing the H part, so I say they're T names, and it's like, oh my god. Toto pouted. Crying like a baby? No, baby! Oh, <laughs> it... Why are you asking me? Uh, 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 I mean, um, uh, <laughs> he glanced sideways at me. <laughs> um, but, Toto, it's true that your injury hasn't recovered. His bangs hit the scar rather well, but it still looked painful. Nagakura broke the awkward silence. Heck yeah. Uh, even though I told Harada that I was into the idea of joining them, it still seemed a little risky. <laughs> Come on, do my options not matter anymore? I said yes, so let me go in. Oh, Yeah, it's very rare. So let me please. Can I? That'd be nice. Oh shoot, I forgot to read that part. Frick. <laughs> uh, oh well. I wasn't expecting him to be so easily swayed. Ah, he wants to come along. He likes me. He likes me. Aww. Too cute. Hmm, I kind of want him to come, though, but at the same time, his entry. Are you sure it'll be all right? Toshi and Sana inside at the side of my reservations, which was understandable. My options don't matter, apparently. I see how it is. Oh, frick you. I do not like you. He is the lowest on my list. Actually, no, that's the other fancy dude. The... It starts with a T. I forgot his name because I do not like him. But this guy's like second to last. I do not like you, good sir. I do not. Saito, you better defend me. Yeah, yeah. He's, oh, he's gonna say that I'm not a burden. Oh, frick yeah. Go, Saito. I blinked. Saito? Standing up for me? I mean, we do have a budding relationship. So, uh, thank you. Thank you, Saito. Thank you. Sanon, uh, bleh. Sanon seemed nearly as surprised as I was. Yeah! Yeah! But what is that not possible, good sir? It, 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 it is very much possible for me to come and help and not be a burden. That'd be very nice. Please, just let me do this. Please let me help you guys! Saito simply shrugged. Yeah! Yeah, 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 Sanan, yeah. Listen to him. Jesus. 
Never in a million years would I have imagined that Saito might have a word of praise for me. I mean, we're going for his route, so I'm not surprised. My eyes grew wide with elation, and Kondo nodded in agreement. Hi! Thank you! Yes! Uh, um, don't you dare, MC! MC, don't you dare back out now! Saito frickin' defended you, and we said yes earlier, don't you dare back out! Sanan still didn't seem convinced. Well, screw his thoughts and ideas. He's he's being a moody little teenage biatch, so no matter. I looked around the room until my eyes met Okita's. I know that for dang well sure. It looked like I wasn't about to get any help from Okita, who looked nonplussed either way. Non nonplussed? Never heard that word. Perhaps I'd be able to help them out like I had during the Battle of Yukaida Inn. Yeah! Yeah! I nodded. Yes, I would like to participate. Heck yeah, let's go! After that, everything was a blur. As quickly as we could, we prepared for battle and marched to the Fushimi Magistrate's Office. Fushimi Magistrate's Office, a government office that supervised the Fushimi Station and Yodo, Yodo Riverbank, which was one of the seven entrances, entrances, oh my, entrances of Kyoto. There were a number of Kyoto ju Judiciary, com oh my god, so many big words. Okay. There were a number of Kyoto Judiciary Commissioner's men gathered there as well, in preparation for battle with the uh, Choshu. Walking proudly in front of the men, Kondo approached the government official near the gate. Ooh. Katamori Matsudara, the ninth generation daimyo of the Aizu domain. He holds the position of Kyoto military commander. Dang. Katamori Matsudara was the lord of the Aizu domain and also... We just read that in... Oh my god. Which made him a very important person. <laughs> His name would have been immediately recognized. The man standing near the gate looks slightly taken aback by the mention of the Shinsengumi. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Were we were we like we were lied to, weren't we? We were told to come here and now Kyoto is unguarded. Oh frick. No. That didn't make sense. What? Perhaps sensing my confusion, Saito leaned over and whispered under his breath. I hope it's just in disarray and not... something else. Do you mean the Choshu is overpowering the Shogunite's forces? That's not good. Hmm. This could be tricky. The Judiciary Commissioner and the Military Commissioner had similar organizations, but they operate very differently. The Military Commissioner's office was under the jurisdiction of the Aizu Domain, while the Kuana Domain controlled the Judiciary Commissioner. Kuana Domain. Domain governed by the Sadaiki Matsudurai. The Kyoto Judiciary Commissioner. I didn't fully understand the relationships between each domain, but so far as we knew, the Aizu and Kuana weren't quite fond of one another. K Kuana? Kuana. Sa that sounds. that feels wrong in my eyes. Excuse me, what, good sir? 
What you just call us? Wolves of Mibu, a nickname given to the men who would later become the Shinsengumi. It was both a reference to their reputation and an alternate spelling of Mipuro, meaning Ronin of Mibu. You sons of a f We are here on official duty business, good sir. Thank you very much. Go speak to your supervisor. Mm. How terrible. And after they'd asked for the Shinsengumi's help, I felt Harada's hand on my shoulder and turned to look up at him. Just because you get this all the time does not mean you have no right to defend yourself. But this is so galling. I wasn't truly a member of the Shinsengumi, but even so, after living with the Shinsengumi men and watching how they worked, I couldn't bear to see how they were treated, which is why this felt wrong to me. Yeah, it's a very much wrong. Mm. Everyone at the Shinsengumi has worked so hard to maintain peace in Kyoto. How could these people, who are supposed to be our allies, turn us away without a second thought? I'm toughing up now. I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna become a Karen and like walk up to them and be like, I want to speak to you, Guardian Man, please. Might hurt their reputation. They deserve it if they're gonna treat us like this. Oh. No, mm -mm, I still don't want to do that. The Kiwana would only need to complain that the Shinsengumi hadn't thrown hadn't shown them proper respect to make trouble for the Aizu. All of the men, including Harada, understood what needed to be done, and they endured. Oh my god. Yeah, if we can't get anywhere with these guys, we'll just go to the source. Saito's suggestion to Kondo was rudely interrupted by... <sighs> Takeda, I hate you. <sighs> really do not like that man. I need to make an angry emote with how much I'm being angered right now. I don't mind skipping him. Yeah. Is Is this guy new or something? Like how new is this guy? I do not care if you call yourself a war counselor or something. Everybody else can read the room and read what they need to do. But you, good sir, no. We are going to oppose your dumb, stupid freaking opinion. Everybody else has the same idea and thought except for this dude. This jerk. Kondo nodded deeply as he glanced at Saito. And with that, the Shinsengumi set off to find the soldiers of the Aizu Domain. Night had fallen by the time we arrived at Kyojo Beach. Oh shoot, I forgot to look at the terminology, but we saw it before. It's fine. After leaving the Fushimi Magistrate's office, we made for the Aizu Manor. Upon arriving, we relayed our previous encounter and asked for new orders. The manor official we met with directed us to the Kyojo Beach, which we did. However, oh wait, I forgot. No, it's fine. It's fine. I don't care at this point. I'm so angry. Yes. Don't you need help? I'm so angry. We dead. 
Understandable. Nagakura, I feel you. I feel you. Nagakura seemed to tolerate no more of this. I feel this. Yeah. Your goddamn soldier. So shut the fuck up. The man flinched and shivered, then fell silent. Kondo did his best to assume a professional air, but there was no hiding his massive grin. At last, after a great deal of trouble, we were allowed to remain with the troops at Kyojo Beach. The chief and the captains left the rest of us to speak with the Aizu commanders. They returned some time later, looking tired and drained. Understandable, they probably had to fight tooth and nail. <sighs> Inoue, who'd gone with them, also wore a bitter sort of half-smile. <laughs> Ah, that's why. Hamaguri Gate. One of the western gates of the Imperial Estate. It is protected by the allied forces of Aizu, Kuana, and Satsuma. Man, having to go through so many freaking hoops. They're treating the Shinsengumi like reserves? Yeah. Saito's right. So all we can do is wait? There was a chance that the call could come at, an, at night, so the men stayed awake, ready to act. Uh, nah. I like you, but right now we're going for Th Saito, so maybe another time. Oh, no, I'm fine. Harada laughed as I shook my head. It wouldn't be fair for me to be the one to sleep. The men had to remain alert, anticipating that they could face death at any moment. Anxiety wrapped around me until I slept near dawn. The men, however, were vigilant through the night. Even as I drifted in and out of consciousness, I could see them nearby, persisting against the night. The break of dawn burned my eyes as I heard it. Oh wow, we're almost going on three hours, so I don't I don't know if we'll be able to do like two chapters a stream. Oh my goodness. I think it's only been like one. <laughs> Not even one. Oh my goodness. I guess it's going to be a, we'll see how it goes kind of thing. The brick of dawn burning, burned my eyes as I heard it. A cannon? The crack of a gunshot tore through the morning air, and in the distance, I heard men shouting and the clang of metal. The fighting had begun. Okay, time to, I was relaxed in my seat. Time to get back forward. Ugh. The captains looked at one another and nodded. Yikso! Let's go! Ikza! I stared at him for a moment, perhaps not yet fully awake, until I understood what he was saying. Right! Let's go! With a quick nod, I readied myself to go. Then... Frick you guys! There's fighting! We're gonna help! <laughs> exactly! Did you just tell me to... Stop? Hell no. Mm mm. No. You guys, you Aizu soldiers, decided to not come for two, maybe three hours for the. for the freaking in battle. I forgot the first name. Uh, whatever it was. But they didn't come for a long while for that in battle. So we're gonna go and help because we aren't freaking. Mm. Even during our lengthy march the day before, I'd never seen Toshi mad. Maybe. Because of his position as commander, he was afraid to express himself when his temper flared up, but it looked like 
as if he'd reach his limit. Understandable. They've been going through so much the past two fucking days. Normally, he left the yelling to Nagakura and stayed patient when speaking with army officials. This time, however, he finally had enough. Yeah! Imperial and state, the Emperor's residence. Yeah! Yeah! Don't matter, you heard that cannon out there. We're gonna go and help fight. Toshi was in no mood for excuses. Yeah! Jesus. Without even waiting for a response, Toshi spun around and stalked off, fuming. Where are we going? I didn't dare raise my voice above a whisper, but I asked Saito who was walking near me. Hi, Saito. Hi, Saito. Thank you for walking next to me. I think you're walking next to me because we're in a budding relationship. Thank you so much for being next to me. I love you. Hamaguri Gate? You mean... Where Aizu's main force is protecting right now? Most likely. Don't worry. I'm ready. Alright. Toshi's fury seemed to rouse the Aizu's reserve, who up to this point seemed flustered by the threat of conflict watching the Shinsengumi march. At the end, they followed the Shinsengumi to the Hamaguri Gate. They better freaking follow. Screw orders, we're helping people. Oh, jeez, ums. Before long, we'd arrived. Oh my gosh. The gate was marked with scores of bullets, and everywhere dead and dying soldiers littered the ground. The acrid stink of firearms hung in the air. Even though I tried to prepare myself mentally for what may lie before me, my heart shattered from the traces of war occurring ahead. The enemy, however, was nowhere to be seen. We had arrived too late. The battle was already over. After a moment of stunned silence, several of our men were dispatched by Toshi to determine what happened. Then Kondo sighed. <laughs> Something's not right. Kondo simply nodded. Something's not right. At first, I thought it was just so they can take the Emperor and have him, like, hidden away for, like, something reserved or something to make sure that he becomes top dog. Or, I don't know, something. I don't know. But now, this just seems fishy as all heck. The Choshu defined themselves as among those who revered the Emperor, yet they attacked his house. Oh, they attacked his home. My bad. It didn't make sense to me either. Nevertheless, the damage was done. I was in the middle of pondering their reasons when Saito returned to me. <laughs> Satsuma Domain, a domain governed by an opposition daimo named Shimazu. They initially supported imperial unification, but they eventually allied with the Choshu in the interest of removing the Shogun. The forces standing against them were too much for the Choshu, who were forced to retreat. The corner of Toshi's mouth curled into a grin. Yeah, times are changing. Mm-hmm. The Satsuma and Aizu domains hadn't been on the best of terms. I thought that they outsmarted the family domain and allied with the imperial court to expel foreigners. Family domain, a domain ruled by a son of the Tokugawa clan. However, I recall my father telling me that they were not much different than the Chosu. 
Unlike the Choshu, however, they'd gone to war with the foreign force and suffered a devastating loss. Bleh. Following their defeat, I learned the Satsuma began to reconsider their nationalist status. Stance. Stance. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> However, these were only rumors, and what had come to pass had yet to be fully determined. Oh, a location now referred to as the Inoue Gate at Matsuyama Castle. Ooh, I'd love to see that at some point. <gasps> oh, hi. You're okay in my eyes. Toshi's expression changed as he considered Harada's words, but before he could open his mouth to speak, Yamazaki appeared. Mount Tenoa. Tenoa Mountain, an important, heavily traveled location in the southern part of Kyoto. It is adjacent to the Setsu province. Setsu? Setsu. Mount Tenoa was located between Kyoto and Osaka. Supposedly, they're in the middle of escaping Fush from Fushimi towards Osaka. After hearing the report from both Harada and Yamazaki, Toshi complimented, uh, contemplated deeply. Although Kondo was recognized as the formal head of the Shinsengumi, I learned from everyone that all major decisions were deferred to Toshi. Well, I mean, he is the commander. Kondo is more of like the face and like the political dude. This was no exception. And all I could see that, uh, wait, and I could see that all eyes were on him. He was silent for a few moments, and then I saw his mouth curve into a small smile. Heck yeah. Yeah! I like how he only has one here. I like how Harada has his spear and, like, one sword. それから大将、あんたには大仕事がある。うん。手間だろうが、合図の上層部に掛け合って追討の許可をもらってきてくれ。招集軍の追討だな。天王山に向かった奴らいないに廃山兵。いや。<笑> Yeah, they're definitely going to be causing some trouble. Yeah, like I said, he's the face, the person that deals with the political stuff, so... <laughs> the Shinsengumi were entrusted with the protection of Kyoto. And if this was war... Or, or, or if this war... Oh my god. And if this war was for aiding the Aisu, then they had to do more than just guard the gate. Leaving our post, however... To chase after the Chosu troops meant that we needed permission from the military commissioner, commissioner meaning the Aizu. Heck yeah. After what we'd gone through the day before, I didn't imagine Kanto's task would be an easy one. Yeah, it's definitely not going to be easy for him. He's going to have to do a lot. Still. Like, going through political stuff and, like, dealing with, like, the higher-up management and all that fun stuff is just as hard as fighting. <laughs> if the representative was anyone other than Kondo, the Aizu would be unlikely to grant the request, let alone entertain the, entertain the notion of a meeting. Heck yeah. I trust that, man. Another laugh ran through the soldiers, and Kondo's mouth twisted into a wry sort of grin. Perhaps he chose not to deny it because he knew he might go a little crazy. <laughs> he looked directly at me. I, I thought he was looking at me when he said, as for you. I wasn't a warrior, nor did I have political ties. But Toshi didn't know what to do with me. Suddenly, I felt very much like dead weight. Ugh. Wherever Saito goes, I go. Alright. 
Kondo was meeting with the leaders of the Aizu. If I joined him, there would be nothing for me. I had many options for what I could do. Toshi would be pursuing the leaders of the Choshu attack towards Tenoa Mountain. Saito would be staying at Hamaguri Gate to protect it and to gather information. Harada and his men would be going to uh, Kuge Gate to stop the attack on the Imperial Estate. The question was, where would I go? Oh, frick. It was Hamaguri Gate, yeah? Yeah. I'm going to save real quick. Real quick. Just in case if I accidentally have forgotten. <laughs> because I'm absolutely horrendous with names. Okay, cool. I picked the right one. Cool! And also, saving is not a bad idea. <laughs> I decided to remain at Hamaguri Gate with Saito. Before long, the rest of the Shinsengumi was gone. And it was time for us to begin our own mission. Yep, yep. Time to deal with more... Time to deal with, deal with more jerkiness. In all the excitement, I completely forgot that the Shinsengumi were ordered to stay with the reserves. Instead, we'd chosen a march to battle. Saito was probably right to try and smooth things over with smooth things over with Aizu, or with the Aizu as soon as possible. Thank you, you can go take care of that. Heck yeah, go take care of that. Thank you, good sir. Ah, uh, Saito. Uh, he's stepping up. He's being off. Such a good leader. Yamazaki bowed once, then turned on his heel and disappeared. The area near the Hamaguri Gate was filled with warriors. I could see some men from the Aizu Domain, and perhaps some men from Satsuma as well. They appeared to be arguing over something. We'd been looking. Mm. We'd been look. Oh my goodness. We'd been looking around the area to get the lay of the land when we sensed something unpleasant and went to investigate. That was when we found the confrontation between the Aizu and the Satsuma. What are they arguing about? <sighs> that is very petty. Yeah. I agree. Oh. That's so stupid. Just, why don't both of them take credit? It's not that freaking hard to take dual credit. Jeez, ums. The words were barely out of my mouth when one of the Satsuma, and... <laughs> Satsuma men noticed us. <sighs> they are gonna ruffle my feathers. <sighs> Oh, but it looks like you kind of had a little scuffle here, so... Looks like you might have needed our help anyway. You guys specifically. What? I could see the faces of the Shinsengumi stiffen, and more than one hand moved towards the sword. Saito, however, was as implacable as ever. Oh, thank you, Saito. Be my calm and my anger. He swept his cool gaze slowly over the men, looking each man in the eye. They swiftly rest. They swifted. They shifted restlessly, but their hands dropped from their swords. Oh my god. His face was bright red, and his sword shook as he held it at the ready. If something wasn't done soon, that sword was likely to start spilling blood. Oh my goodness. They're. You already went through a fight to defend the frickin' Emperor, and now you're gonna fight each other? That's frickin' stupid. Jesus, fight for the common goal. Hey, who's he? He came back! I wonder who he is. Before anyone from the Satsuma could respond, a tall man stepped through them and out into the space between the two factions. Oh my goodness, don't even try. With a yell, the soldier threw himself forward, raising his sword to anticipate a deadly cut. Saito dashed forward almost too fast to see and stopped before the charging man. Yep. S Saito! 
Why had I not recognized him until that moment? That man was at the Ikaita Inn. Saito's eyes narrowed to slits as he turned to look at the tall man. Yeah. I just wonder what you used. Yeah. If Saito had even heard the man's or if Saito had even heard the man's apology, he showed no sign of it. Most likely. The man simply shrugged and tilted his head to the side, almost quizzically. Saito took a step towards him. <gasps> Saito! Be okay. I hope you're okay, Saito. Saito! <laughs> the tip of Saito's sword was only a, hair, a hair's breadth from the man's forehead. He drew it so fast, I saw no blur of silver as it left the scabbard. Unperturbed, the man glanced down at Saito. Yeah, Saito's pretty small. Oh, Jesus. Please be careful, Saito. Please be careful. Saito, you're going to make me cry if you do something reckless. He replied as calmly as if he had been enjoying tea together. Er, sorry, I got a message. He replied as calmly as if they had been enjoying tea together. Saito said nothing, and his sword did not move. Was Saito really that angry? I could certainly see why he would have been, but this was not the time to settle grudges. Still, he was a tough man to read. What am I going to do? Ah, oh, Jesus! I don't know. I don't want him to get hurt. Cause Saito know. I, I, I'm, I'm gonna trust Saito. Saito knows that the man in front of him is tough, and today is not the day to mess with him. So I am gonna trust him. I'm gonna trust him that he's not gonna do anything rash and reckless. I'm gonna put my faith and trust in him. I'm gonna trust him. Saito was also well aware of his duties and was not the sort of man to allow emotion to compromise his decisions. As shown by his or as shown by his ordering his men to stand down after being grievously insulted. I didn't know what it was, but he had a plan. Okay, he's smiling, so hopefully everything's good. He must have somehow sensed my decision, because for a moment his eyes flickered flicked to me and he smiled. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Saito. Thank you, Saito. I knew I could trust you. Sweet baby boy, I love you. Ah, uh, God, this boy's gonna make me cry. The tall man from the Satsuma nodded deeply. You better be on your knees and apologize. Saito returned the man's nod and slid his sword back into its scabbard. The Satsuma men seemed displeased with how things turned out, but whoever the tall man was, none of them dared to speak out against him. Now I understood what Saito had intended to do. By forcing... By forcing the Satsuma to apologize, he had allowed the Aizu to save face. By directly confronting the issue, he had been able to avoid any bloodshed. Because the Satsuma man, uh, because the Satsuma man understood his intentions, he apologized. Regardless, I couldn't help but sigh, relieved that we avoided another pointless fight. <laughs> He bowed deeply. Bow deeper. Be on your knees and bow. 
次には見える時互いが協力関係にあることを祈ろう。It better be with us, not against us. Yuju Amaguri, a highly skilled individual connected to the Satsuma domain. He specializes in bare handed combat and he possesses power and skill above many members of the Shinsengumi. Yeah, he. Dude looks freaking skilled as all heck. Like, the air he gives off. I would not be able to even. Mm, nope. Mm -mm. His introduction finished, he turned and walked slowly back through the ranks of the Satsuma, towering above them as he went. You got this, Saito. Saito. You never intended to fight him, did you? There was a short silence. Daito looked coiled inside himself, staring in the direction Amaguri walked towards before speaking. I don't know, man. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm pretty sure he knew. Like... Huh? Saito practiced EI, a sword style that focused on drawing a blade and striking in a single stroke. Yeah, we, we learned that last time. You don't need to tell us again. Amaguri made no attempt to dodge his blow. How would he have known that Saito intended to stop just before the blow landed? Yeah. I wasn't sure if Saito was talking to me or himself, and before I could ask, he turned and walked away. He returned to the Hamaguri gate to await Yama, Yamazaki's return, but there was little else to do. After that incident, there were no battles. However, the tension remained unabated. Was it possible for the Satsuma and Aisu to find a common ground and coexist peacefully? It seemed like imagining such a world would be an impossible dream. Oof. Oh, I think I'm going to end it here. It's been th three hours now. Ah, oh, Jesus. We couldn't even get through one chapter. Okay. Now I know how to save. Ha 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 ha. Let's check out the warrior record. Let's see. Let's see where we're at. We're still budding. Still just budding. I see how it is. How are we with... Nothing. That's fine. It's only one anyway. Yeah. It's fine. It's fine. Now... No. Wait. There we are. Ooh. And we get... Oh, so we do get... We do get Flatter Boy as well, but... <laughs> Pet. One day, one day you'll be mine. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, we can look at this. Uh, I'll just leave it up. I'm not gonna. You guys can read it on your own time. I don't feel like speaking out. Talking today has been difficult. Ugh. Oh. Yeah, that was... Talking today has been very, very hard. Because yesterday I was up... A long time. I didn't get a lot of sleep the... Day before, or the night before, I should say. And then... Yeah, just a lot. At least I feel better uh, today. And I can actually... I don't know, do things. <laughs> Uh, it is held in June. Yeah, but... I'm just... I, I'm happy we got to meet this guy. I'm happy we got to see more fighting. I'm all for that. Ugh. We got to get another thing with Saito, so that's a good plus. So I think that's definitely the route we are going to um, take for this. We're going to go for Saito gonna lock that in and if you guys would like i can do uh, another run though i'll probably make it into a video and not a stream so that i can cut through uh the things that we've already seen 
and just go to the parts that have changed. I feel like that'd be um something better to do than the stream than to stream the whole entire thing all over again and see only the slight differences and such. So if you guys would like, I can do that after we're done with this. And after we're done with um Edo Blossom and I can make that like a proper thingy for you guys or whatever. Well Yeah. <laughs> oh, that one was up for too short of a time, so you guys can always like pause the video or whatever when it comes out after this. Oh, I hate this man. I hate this man with a burning freaking passion. He's like, mmm. I really do not like him. Because he's the person that's like, oh, you're doing it for these reasons, blah, blah, blah. And it turns out the person's not doing it for those reasons. But he's like saying that to somebody else because he's doing that for those reasons. And like he freaking didn't want to like go in and help when it was like freaking crucial and everything. Like, dude, can you like freaking not do that? That's your whole job. Yeah, and he said he was a war counselor. Like, dude, if you're going to be a war counselor, get in on the action. Excuse me. Get in on the action and actually do something. Like, geez, Holmes. Like, I understand not wanting to like have people escape the inn and everything but also like if you're hearing people inside saying don't die for your captains and two of them at that fact like you can't just sit idly by you have to go in you you have to there's no if ands or buts you you gotta <laughs> Ugh. I hope I get to pronounce these words better because I always I'm, I'm, I'm like doubting myself. I'm like, Satsuma, am I saying that right? I hope I am. <laughs> Shikoyu, I think I'm pronouncing that right. I don't know. <laughs> oh, that's how I am with anything. I, I, I want to double make sure that I'm saying something right because I don't want to offend you guys. I don't want to offend people. I mean, at some point, I am going to. It's inevitable that's going to happen. But if I respect, like, these languages and everything. So I want to make sure that I'm giving it the respect and everything it needs. So saying something like, gee, Ray, duh, is like, no. I, I can't do that. I want to... Give it proper respect. It's what it's what all cultures and languages deserve. They deserve respect. Ah, oh. and that is all from the encyclopedia. So I think we are all good. Let's double save just to make sure. I do not want anything bad to happen. Ah, <laughs> oh. so I'm gonna let you guys go from here on out. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day or night or whatever time it is for you guys and i hope to see you at some point soon for most likely wednesday stream when we play <gasps> ghostwire tokyo let's go oh, i can't wait to play that game it looks so cool i just hope it isn't like <laughs> cyberpunk 2077 with a whole bunch of bugs and glitches and everything i hope it's i hope it's already properly you know fixed and everything and polished because games lately have been coming out unpolished and that is just not right when you come out with a game you need to make sure it's polished and like freaking clean and everything that's what you have to go through like don't send out a game with a whole bunch of bugs and then be like oh we're sorry here's a patch like no you do that with like multiplayer like MMO games like Final Fantasy 14 that's when you give out patches and everything because it's a consistent thing continuously going on but if you're sending out a game that's like a one-time thing like this one like this game like you need to make sure it's polished right off the bat like that's just being rude to the customer when you give it out unpolished so Anyway, enough of my spiels. If I continue on, I'm just going to continue on spieling. So, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. 
or night or whatever and i hope to see you on wednesday for ghostwire tokyo which is going to be at gonna make sure that this one's right uh 8 p.m est or 9 a.m jst or 5 p.m pst so i hope to see you guys at some point on wednesday for that or well thursday for the jst time <laughs> so i'll see you guys hopefully soon love you all hope you have a wonderful rest of your day as i say that like three times <laughs> bye <laughs>